inside the cupboard there and you hold your nozzle there and then it says start dispensing and you literally just hold that down and fresh milk comes out. The FSA, the, the Food Standards Agency, come round um, every three months do a, do a thorough check of the, the cows, the dairy, the setup, me as a person, um, to make sure we're all we uh, we come up to legislation, and um, and then we get a certificate from them to say that we are eligible to to sell raw pasteurised milk. At the farm so this is the source of all this raw milk and this is how the guys are kept, obviously it's a bit muddy and uh, nasty out in the fields but these are all nice and safe and happy in here. You're going to give one of them a pat? I think you're alright. They won't slob, well they will slobber but you'll be alright. She's with me this morning, can you believe it? <laughs> We were in town the other day and um, there's a lady with a child walk past us and she went, it's them from Northwich Life and now they think the movie stars. The, the welfare animals are very important to, uh, well, to us and the, the, the food standards agency. They want to know about our housing, about, about most things to do with the cows. Each cow has 40. That's, that's what goes there. This is all the battery and the milk comes straight through there, up there, along these stainless steel pipes into our bulk tank in the dairy. What's the difference between the supermarket milk and the milk? Well, this milk, this milk is a fresher than supermarket milk. Like I say, it's straight from the cow. Um, we, don't, we don't touch it. It's all it's done is chilled down to four degrees. So it's, it's unpasteurised, unhomogenised milk. Um, so we don't touch it. In the supermarkets, um, we're unsure, we're unsure of what um, what happens to, to the milk in, in the dairies before it gets on your shelf. But everybody here knows our cows. You can see them go across the road in, in the summer. So you know the cows and you know you know where your milk comes from. We've got 160 cows and then we've got about 100 young stock. So we've got all the, all the baby calves and the slightly older calves that will grow up and then soon they'll be in with their friends here and producing milk. It's always a good time, isn't it? You're intrigued by this. I know you want to ask, don't you? Thank you. 